The Total Wine and More store in Milford is among the stores that had been advertising below state mandated minimum prices since last week. The State Department of Consumer Protection Liquor Control Division fast tracked an investigation, imposing the hefty fines today and ordering the price cutting to stop. The governor praised the swift action by the agency, but reiterated that his position on the minimum pricing law has not changed. I believe the law to be illegal. I'm not in favor of high prices. What I'm in favor of is true competition. The highest ranking Republican in the state, Senator Len Fasano of North Haven, says if Total Wine and chains like them are allowed to have their way, they will crush the smaller stores and then eventually hike the prices back up. But there are many shoppers that agree with the governor on this and want to let the free market work. I'm all for the lower prices and the wars that are going on right now. I wish all the liquor stores would do it. But a surprising number of shoppers here today say they sympathize with the smaller retailers. I think everybody would like to see lower prices, um, but I understand it's difficult for the smaller stores to keep up with that. The minimums keep everything kind of fair for all the smaller businesses, the smaller you know, liquor stores. There's a couple down the road that are you know, mom and pop places that are trying to compete with a big place like this. The Total Wine Store chain has switched their advertising strategy and is now attempting to make this an election issue for members of the State House and Senate, urging customers to contact state lawmakers and get them to vote to repeal the minimum pricing law, an effort that has failed five years in a row. The fines against Total Wine will not affect the retailer's court case against the minimum pricing law, which will proceed. In Milford, Mark Davis, News 8.